Welcome to A to Z Summary YouTube channel. Here is a detailed analysis and summary of the novel Solaris by Stanislaw Flem. Before proceeding further I request you to please subscribe our channel and like the video, also comment your favorite books and novel so that I can provide summary for it, now let's start with the summary. The themes of the novel are The characters in the novel are Solaris by Stanislav Lem is a novel that explores the limits of human understanding and the mysteries of the universe. The story takes place on a distant planet, Solaris, where scientists struggle to understand the ocean-like entity that covers the planet. This ocean seems to be a living, thinking being, capable of creating physical manifestations from the scientists' memories, often taking the form of lost loved ones. The novel raises deep questions about the nature of consciousness, the possibility of truly understanding something entirely alien, and the way humans confront their own emotions and past experiences. Through its eerie and thought-provoking narrative, Solaris challenges readers to reflect on the boundaries of knowledge and the complexities of human nature. The story begins with the arrival of psychologist Chris Kelvin at a research station orbiting the planet Solaris. Solaris is a mysterious planet covered by a vast ocean that seems to be alive, capable of complex and incomprehensible behaviors. The planet has been studied for decades, but its true nature remains elusive. Chris is sent to the station to investigate strange occurrences reported by the crew. Upon arrival, Chris finds the station in disarray. The once bustling facility is now eerily quiet with only three scientists remaining, Snow, Sartorius, and Jiberian, who is already dead by the time Chris arrives. Jiberian's death is shrouded in mystery, adding to the tension. Chris quickly realizes that something is terribly wrong when he encounters strange, human-like figures aboard the station. These figures, later referred to as visitors, are physical manifestations created by the Solaris Ocean, drawn from the crew's deepest memories and subconscious fears. Chris soon encounters his own visitor, Rhea, his former lover who had died by suicide many years earlier. Her sudden appearance is both shocking and confusing for Chris. She looks, sounds, and behaves like Rhea, but she is not truly human. Despite her strange origin, Rhea appears to be conscious and self-aware, though she has no memory of her previous life or death. As Chris grapples with the reality of Rhea's existence, he is torn between his emotions and his rational understanding of the situation. He knows that this Rhea is not real, but his feelings for her are rekindled, leading to a complex and painful emotional journey. The other crew members are similarly haunted by their own visitors, each a manifestation of their deepest regrets and guilt. Throughout the novel, the ocean of Solaris is a central, enigmatic presence. It is a vast, seemingly sentient entity that defies all attempts at understanding. The ocean's ability to create these visitors raises profound questions about its nature and purpose. Is the ocean trying to communicate, or is it simply toying with the humans? Is it a godlike entity? or is it just a mirror reflecting the innermost fears and desires of the people studying it? The scientists on the station have devoted their lives to studying Solaris, yet they are no closer to understanding it. The ocean's creations force them to confront their own humanity and the limitations of human knowledge. The novel delves into the psychological and philosophical implications of these encounters, exploring themes of identity, memory, and the unknowable. As Chris spends more time with Rhea, he becomes increasingly conflicted. He knows that she is not real, yet he cannot bring himself to destroy her. The other crew members, particularly Sartorius, are more pragmatic and cold in their approach, viewing the visitors as nothing more than byproducts of the ocean's inexplicable processes. Snow, on the other hand, seems to be in a state of detached acceptance, neither fully embracing nor rejecting the situation. 
The crew's attempts to understand and control the visitors lead to a series of failed experiments and escalating tensions. Sartorius proposes using a device called the Annihilator to destroy the visitors, but Chris is hesitant, torn between his scientific duty and his emotional attachment to Rhea. The moral and ethical dilemmas faced by the crew are central to the story, highlighting the complexities of dealing with something that challenges the very nature of human existence. As the story progresses, Chris begins to realize that the ocean of Solaris is not something that can be conquered or fully understood. It operates on a level beyond human comprehension, and its interactions with the crew are a form of communication that defies conventional understanding. The ocean's creations are not malicious but are instead reflections of the crew's own inner turmoil. In the end, Rhea, realizing her own unnatural existence, chooses to leave Chris, disappearing in a manner that suggests she has come to understand her own nature. Her departure is both heartbreaking and liberating for Chris, as he is forced to confront the reality of his situation and the impossibility of maintaining a relationship with a memory. Chris ultimately decides to stay on the station, choosing to continue his study of Solaris despite the overwhelming challenges and uncertainties. The novel ends on an ambiguous note, with Chris reflecting on the nature of the ocean and the mysteries it holds. He comes to accept that some things are beyond human understanding and that the search for knowledge often leads to more questions than answers.